good, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Producer's Life. I'm your man, Big Boy Tracks, as always. So for today's beat making video, I guess the concept I was kind of thinking about if Currency would have come to me, asked me for a beat, like, you know, something smooth, like a mellow type of groove, how would I approach it? So that's why I'm kind of running with this idea. Y'all know I'm heavily 80s influenced, so I'm definitely gonna have some elements of the 80s, but this is not gonna be like an 80s soul track or nothing like that. It's gonna have those elements, but still have a more modern day, you know, sound to it. Enough talking, let's hop into this beat making video. Let's start this cook up. So for our piano guys, we're gonna be using the FM engine that comes out of, out of the Yamaha. I got it running through my MIDI right here. into to Cubase, as you see, I got MODX right here. The FM time sound in here is just so much more crisp sound, so that's why I'm using this one. You know I typically like to use a Super JV1080 or the XV5080 or something like that, but today we're gonna be using the Yamaha. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down some chords and let's get us a nice laid back groove going for this beat. <laughs> That's like super dreamy. All right, guys, we're over at the move one. We're about to go ahead and add this nice string. It's called the 1980 VHS string. So you can hear how dreamy it sounds. So that's like a perfect fit for this beat. So. We gonna keep it pretty simple. So let's go ahead and throw us a nice, smooth sound to lead in here. I found this one in here, it's called Beeman. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of basically freestyle these notes and I'm not exactly sure where I'm going with this. I throw us a nice bass in here. One of my favorite bass sounds is in Analog Lab 5, and it's called the Bass Kiln. Super smooth sound. Has that kind of filtered sound to it. We're just gonna go ahead and lay this down over top of this, and let's wake this track up. So let's go ahead and add us a vocal in here really fast. I want to add this vocal in here because I feel like I'm needing some more inspiration, something to really inspire me. I feel like a vocal will help me adjust to that point. Because there's a lot of times when we have beats and we don't exactly know what direction we're going with. And I kind of hit that point right now. I'm kind of like, 
okay, I like it, but I'm not exactly sure where else I'm supposed to go with this beat. So hopefully adding this vocal in here is gonna really assist with that. So right here we got RK put up and I got Distant Voices. I like this one in particular because everything about it is dreamy sounding. I believe these are Japanese phrases. So I found this one that sounds pretty angelic sounding. <laughs> What I did was I muted a few tracks, the piano and the string, so you guys can really hear it when I lay it down. So that sounded pretty fire, as y'all can hear. So I could try to find another piece of that also. I think that's the one right there, so let's lay that one down. All right, so we gotta definitely add us a nice guitar look in here. And so for today's video, we're gonna be using the VSC Orange Tree Samples Evolution Hollow Body Blues. And I actually got this loaded up, plus I got guitar rig put up, and I got, the, I think it's pronounced Doppel Wa. So, sound pretty dope, so I'm gonna do a little of that. Not too much, I'm not exactly sure uh, where I'm going with this, but I'm definitely gonna start off messing around with the pitch band. So let's just go ahead and record this and just see what happens. fix those notes yeah i don't know what i was doing y'all i was just literally just recording whatever came to my head um it's not bad probably definitely gotta do some tweaking to it but Guys, so I feel like we got enough sounds in here already with the guitar, the vocals, the strings and all that. I feel like that's way more than enough sounds to wrap this beat up. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the drums tracked out and get this all arranged. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop back into it so you guys can check out what this finished beat is about to sound like. Let's go. <laughs> Life family that wraps up today's beat making video on this Sunday. Hope you all enjoyed that. Like I said, if I was a producer of currency, this is something that I would, you know, make for him if he was looking for something in that mellow, you know, groove type of sound. So overall, I love the way the beat came out. Super smooth sounding. Would you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below? If you enjoyed today's beat making video, go ahead and give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and do all that good stuff. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you do because I will be coming back once again this week with another beat making video. I want to thank everybody out there for watching and kicking it with your man Big Boy Tracks right here at Producers Life. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.